Hey Tina, nice to meet you. My name's Fox. Hi, how are I'll, you? I'll be interviewing you today. Today. <laughs> My bad. It's fine. So, how old are you? I'm 59. 59, okay, okay. You look young out here. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been doing well. <laughs> Where are you from, Tina? I'm from Willow Grove. Where, I'm sorry? Willow Grove. Willow Grove, okay. Okay. Now, what brings you out here to Kansas City, PA, though? I use drugs. You use drugs? I do. And what's your drug of choice? Crack cocaine and heroin. Okay. How long have you been on this substance? 25 years off and on. Off and on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really have to after my son died. Oh, sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so how many years did you have clean then? Seven. You had seven years clean? And was it like a tra tragic accident? Mm -hmm. he killed himself. Killed himself? Was he using them? No, he was just a baby. <laughs> Sorry. He was just a baby. He was 18, he just graduated. So, it's a Mm-hmm. Did you ever deal with any mental illnesses I did also? I deal with him as well, but I didn't see his coming at all. It just came out of nowhere. Were you a big factor in his life? Did you play a big portion, big part in his life? And you had got clean for him, right? I did. I would have been to hell if I got everything just for him. So, I'm broken. Right. Right. You got to stay strong, though, okay? I'm pretty sure he wants you in a better place than Kensington, PA. I know. Yes, he does. Hmm. Um, How long have you been on these streets? Kensington, I'm probably like... 20 years? 20 years? Long time. Do you work these streets at all? I do. I do. How long have you been working? 20 years. 20 years? It's a long time. Yeah. Well, I have a job. I have a real job as well. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, I have a house. I got myself together. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to, like, go down because of picking up. But um, I'm trying to get back home. Right. Clean. You have any family out here? I don't, anybody? I have nobody. Nobody you can turn to. Have you burnt bridges in your family at all? No, no, not at all. They just turn their backs on you. I don't have any family. They're all dead. So you don't have nobody in your corners to battle this recovery. I don't. Who did you have in your corners uh, seven or seven years ago? Was it seven I had my sponsor, years ago? Uh -huh. but my sponsor wound up using. Your sponsor wound up using after twenty six years. After twenty six years, it's, it's, a, real it's a real uphill and downhill battle, folks. It is. It is. It's crazy dealing with drug addiction. You have to prepare for the unexpected. Mm -hmm. I That's wasn't right. Told that. Prepare for the unexpected, folks. Expect the unexpected. Um, don't take anything for granted. So how was your childhood growing up? Oh, I had a bad childhood. Um, I was molested as a child. Mm -hmm. I ran away. I became a product of the streets because of that. Um, and I didn't start using it until late in my, late in my uh, years. Um, right. And I promised to make my kids better, you know. For them to have a better life. Were you ever married? What was your relationship status? Are you married now? <laughs> no, no, I'm not married. Okay. And um, where's your baby father at? He's dead. He died as well? Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that. Life. <laughs> All right. So, how do you make it day by day surviving out here? How do you like acquire your money? Well, I date, I sell suboxins, I do all types of things. Um, jack of all trades, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. um, just to make it through. Um, it's getting old and tired. It's tired. It's old. It's like really bad out here. It's the worst I've ever seen in 20 years that I've been out here. This is the worst. It's the worst. The worst. Um, the worst cut of people out here. Mm -hmm. The worst of everything. Um, How much do you make dating? Yeah, anywhere from three to eight. Three to eight? Hundred. Three to eight hundred mm -hmm. a day? Yeah. Hmm. Um, how do your tricks treat you? They treat me great. 
Do you, are, are you ever scared of hopping in with a serial killer? I don't go with nobody I don't know. Um, okay. Every time I have this pain, a nightmare, I wind up getting hurt or go to jail. Right. So if I don't know him, I just don't go with him. <laughs> so I understand you don't have no family to call on. I don't. Is there anybody out here you trust? No. Absolutely not. Nobody out here that has your back. And you're out here, a 59-year-old woman, on these dangerous streets alone. Yeah, pretty much. I got God, though. You got, got God. God. You're spiritual? Right. That's good. That's good. So I know I'm going to uh, uh, beat it. You ever sit down and pray and just, you know, try to get out of this situation? Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, you got to change everything. You got to be willing to change everything. You can't stop doing drugs if you're still tripping. This is just for me. Um, it doesn't work. Tricking goes along with drugs. You can't be clean and still trick. Right. You just can't. It doesn't work that way. Do you enjoy selling your body? No. Um, so we make, we make, make money. Would you say you miss making an honest living? Absolutely. Absolutely. I miss life. I miss having a life. Now, when's the last time you attempted to get clean? A year ago. A year ago? Mm. I failed miserably. Right. Um, it's the people you had with. Um, like I said, there's no friends out here. Mm -hmm. There's nobody out here on the team. They want you to be just down with them. You're out here alone. Now's the best time to make that attempt. You know, say you make 300 to 800 a day. Um, you know, Put some of that up to, to get clean, you know? I stack. I stack my money. I got you stack your money? Okay. Okay. You have shelter. You're not homeless out here. I'm not homeless. Oh, I right. shower every day. Um, my choice. So you only you only come out here to Kensington just to work? Yes. And, and get high. <laughs> and get high, yeah. How much money do you spend on your addiction a day then? At least two to three hundred. Two to three hundred? Yeah. Okay. You just... Uh, Others profit. Right. Um, the rest goes to my bills. My, for now. Yeah. At any time, it can go downhill. But I don't pay my rent or whatever. I'm back to the street. Right. Why work the streets when you can get a legitimate job and work, make the same amount of money? Well, no. Not a day. <laughs> you make that much money a day? Yeah. I do. thousand dollars And that's what keeps me. That's what keeps me. Like, that's what keeps you stuck here. Yeah. The money. Right. But with that comes drugs. Is anybody out here in this world that loves you? Uh, no. No? Do you feel like any of your tricks love you? No. I hope they don't because I don't love them. <laughs> you just fulfill their fantasies, huh? Exactly. I'm just a means to their fantasies. That's it. All right. I'm emotionally attached. <laughs> What type of job did you have before drug addiction? I worked at my mom's restaurant before she died. Your mom's restaurant? Mm -hmm. What happened to the restaurant? Um, also passed away. <laughs> Your mother's husband was having sexual relations with you? Yes. While they owned a business together and were, were they married? Yeah, we're married. It's her husband. Yeah. Wow. This is crazy. White people. <laughs> I'm just saying um, sick, sick, but, uh, sure. That's what made me come out. Now, how old were you? Why were you? Uh, I was 13. I oh, God. Was he, molest he was molesting you? Yes, he was. So my mom knew about it. I put him in jail. She got him out. And I really I'm glad that man went to jail. He doesn't deserve no, to be I mean, out. She got him out. She got him out. She, got, she chose him over me. It's like... Right. Better place, I hope. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you, do you still miss her? No, not at all. Were you ever Were you able to seek counseling after that traumatic experience? Uh, I did, but I kind of like left me alone because um, it's over. It's been done. Um, do I forgive him? No, and I never will. All right, you were able to put that behind you. Yeah, I think so. And I promise and vow that my kids will never go through that. Tina. Where do you see yourself in six months? Well, I'm getting ready to go to a, um, I'm getting ready to call a recovery house. Um, I'm going to do outpatient. 
You gonna do outpatient? That's a great plan, I Tina. That's a I'm great plan. Outpatient. I'm gonna change. I really am. Selfish. Tina, you know your son's looking down from heaven okay. right now. I know. I know. And that's who's keeping me safe, believe it or not. And he wants to see you in a better place. He don't want to see you here. Amen. You know, you want to do it for him. So for me. This six time I have to do it for me. Six months. Every si time I did it for someone else, uh -huh. I wind up coming back. Right. So this time I got to do it for me. Do it for you. Exactly. Six months now. I you're plan on seeing you again. Definitely won't be here. <laughs> Definitely won't be here. No. But we're gonna get that update. Amen. We're gonna track you down. We're gonna I'll get that you update. Up. I'll give you, my you know. Okay. Okay. All right. Everybody got a plan. Everybody got go, go through stuff to grow through. Mm -hmm. And I've been in recovery. I love recovery. I love being clean. I love everything about it. And I miss it. But some of you, I'm just like stuck. And I don't even have to be. Don't worry, Tina. This story right here is going to change someone's life. I don't you know, know. Just know, you, know you're doing a good thing right now. I believe that. And all the time, me to be praying for you. Thank you.